Hey guys, welcome back to My Homestead Education. Uh, right now, I'm getting ready to take out our spring peas. It's a little late, but we just started warming up the last few weeks, and uh, it is getting hot, you know, upper 90s now. Uh, we went from 48 to 98 in, I don't know, four weeks, so those were our highs. Um, but I wanted to see if I could show you something here. What we're gonna do with most of these peas is actually cut them and leave the roots in there and that'll help uh, as the roots decompose it'll aerate the soil but it'll also uh, leave the nitrogen that the uh, peas collected it'll leave that those nodules in there and what I'm going to see real quick is if I can pull a couple of these up and show you those nodules All right, here's a real nice one here. This is the bottom of this plant here. Let me come around, I'll show you over there. So what we have here are the nitrogen nodules here, if it'll focus. That is nitrogen that the plants fix into the soil for you. And this is great for getting your garden ready. This is why people use them for cover crops, because it fixes nitrogen in your soil. And I mean, just look at that. that is a That is a lot of nitrogen. I'm actually going to cut this root ball off and bury it back in the soil to uh, feed my next round of crops. But just so you know, that is what the nitrogen fixation looks like. It's not as small as you might think it is. Um, it's actually very visible um, whenever you look at it. And this is why uh, peas are such a great, um, a great crop to put in in the springtime or in the fall to, uh, to help cover your ground for future crops because this right here is the easiest way so if you can actually get a crop out of your out of your peas and prepare the ground for the next round uh, that's just money saved right you don't have to put any kind of chemical fertilizers on it um, you don't need all the chicken manure or cow manure or whatever it is uh, to fix it in this is referred to as a if you use them as a cover crop, a lot of people call it a green manure. Uh, some people actually will grow these out and before they actually start producing, they'll just mow down the, the peas and sometimes even till in the tops of them to add even more. But uh, you don't need to till it in. That is a lot of nitrogen in one plant. And I have a whole area in my bed right here um, full of nitrogen now ready for our next crop. So we'll probably put in, uh, I don't know what we're gonna plant in here next. Maybe, um, you know, it's really late, but we actually have some potatoes we need to plant. So I may actually just clear this out for potatoes right now. And we still have quite a few peas on here. Um, these are Oregon sugar pod peas. They're, they're, they're actually really good for cool weather crops. Um, and you can pick them when they're young and not the peas aren't very big, but you can eat the whole thing, the snap pea. And uh, man, they are, they're tasty. I love fresh peas. And we got quite a few of them. So I'm gonna go ahead and cut these out. And then um, I got a couple other things I'm gonna shoot. And uh, it'll be a bunch of shorter videos that uh, I'm getting ready to release. So stay tuned. Uh, I really appreciate you guys watching it. If you like it, please subscribe to the channel. Hit that notification bell for future content. Also, check out a couple of different things. In the link in the description below, I got links to uh, clearwatervalleyfarms.com. Um, we have a seed business, and we have some uh, great uh, collections of seeds that we offer. Uh, you get really deep discounts by buying them in collections. 
and we just came out with a uh, an emergency seed vault and that thing is packed full of seeds 70 different varieties we have what's called a market garden pack so in a for an example a tomato uh, pack a normal one we have 40 maybe 50 seeds in a in a regular tomato pack and we'll have 10 to 12 in our urban in our market garden you'll get between 200 250 or so seeds in uh, in those market garden packs that's a lot of one tomato you can grow a lot I mean even if you only got 75 percent germination rate you're talking about 150 to 200 tomato plants of one kind and you get multiple varieties of tomatoes and peppers and you name it it's a great great pack to have back and with these uncertain times and with all the things going on in the world today you're going to want to get your hands on an emergency seed vault uh, you and some friends maybe going together you could probably plan out I haven't actually done the math I, my guess is you could plan out an between one and two acres of land with this seed vault. It, it, there is a lot of seeds in there. So check that out at uh, clearwatervalleyfarms.com. Also over at uh, Patreon, you can uh, become a member. Um, if you do the dollar, I really appreciate it. That's great. Um, we're, trying to, we're trying to get to where we put more content on there. At five, for the five or $10 one, you get free seeds every month. Um, we will send you a, a pack out each month with seeds. We just sent out our seeds just a couple of weeks ago for July. So uh, August is coming up. So join over at Patreon. Every month you'll get seeds. Sometimes we'll even throw in something like an elderberry syrup kit in the, during the flu cold season. Um, a lot of our a lot of our patrons really have appreciated that in the past. So thank you so much. Uh, check us out on more videos. Have a great day.